Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Malvern Junction. How is everybody doing? Are you all excited for the weekend ahead? Uh, yesterday was my birthday. Um, I've been out to my local hobby store and I've just got a few extra things. So I've got some track here. This is um, that exact length. This is Pico ST-204. I've got 10 pieces here because that would do for the layout. And if I should show you over here, I've just got the truck back together and I'm just marking out where I'm going to put the um, this one there, where I'm going to put supports for the uh, triangle junction. That is uh, my mini version of uh, Worcester Junction. Um, also, I'm going to make a train coming out of here. I'm going to make a start of it coming out of here a little bit. Only 70 metres, well, about 1.8 metres, probably 2 two metres in length because I've got this to come out. So I'm going to make a support here, then I'm going to make uh, the two tracks going down here for um, East, uh, mm, is it Newland East? I think it is, yeah, Newland East. I purchased the signal box for Newland East. Um, Junction. I've got a signal box on pre order as well to put next to here. I've got a V railer and uncoupler for uh, £1.50. That is going to be somewhere just about here where the sidings are going to be because that's going to be for me to put something like Okay, it's all wagon and the loco. I have got, just show you very quickly. Right, here we go. Right, I'm not using one of these, I'm going to use uh, another one of these lengths. That's, uh, have got a power connector on it. Because I'm going to put. This railer on the end here, like that, that's the end of the rails. So I can screw this down. These will be connected so a coach or a wagon or a life car can be easily drawn down. And when I want to take it off, the coach, these wagons, the life car can be uncoupled. And then I can just take them off. So that's something that I've, I've just thought of uh, yesterday. And I looked at one of these and I thought, oh, I could do one of these. And I managed to find a few of these that was on uh, a sour box. And uh, I just thought, why not? I'll just get one of these and I have one of these. Not from yesterday, but I knew I had uh, loads of these. And I knew I had one of these as well. And I thought, oh, I'll create my own. Uh, rail and unrail and uh, decoupler. <laughs> so that's what I've got. Got these for it. So I've got the track, I've got the level crossing, I've got my uncoupler re-railer. Uh, I bought some fencing for the station. Uh, it's going to go by the car park area. I've got some um, plastic glue as well. So when I get plastic kits like this sort of thing. That needs to be put together, even the fencing as well. I've got the blue here. Um, if I just pop this off, that's a thin nozzle, but I can get a thinner nozzle than that. So I can get a pack of uh, four, I think it is. So I might just get some like that um, tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going up to Leicestershire. Uh, I'm going to go all the way down to Solly Hole to meet the owner of the store that I went to uh, yesterday. He's going to make me there at 6.30 in the morning. We're both going to go up to Leicestershire and we're going to deal with the stand there and I'm going to do one day. So I'll take some money with me. So if I get something like a bit more track and one or two things like cheap buildings, I can do that. So today I'm going to make a start of doing more framework on the layout. And I'll see what I can do from here. 
and then I'll give you guys another update later on today of how much I've done. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I don't know why, because uh, apparently I did have to toss this fuel off, and then I went down to 11 now. So, probably just uh, somebody must have just thought I had a change of mind, which is understandable. I mean, it's no, it's no skin of my nose, I mean, I'm not going to get upset about it, but uh, some things can be ideal for people, some things can be like, nah, it's not my cup of tea, sort of thing. So, I'm not so worried about that, but it's just appreciated that that did subscribe to my channel. They had a look, had a read of my information on the channel, and I said, you know what? I might have watched a couple of videos, but it's not my cup of tea, so. But I do appreciate people subscribing and having a look. And if they feel like, oh, I want to say subscribe to this channel, they can unsubscribe. They don't have to stay on subscribe to the channel. It is understandable, but everybody does it. I, I'll do it to a few channels as well. I think, nah, it's not my cup of tea, and I'll just unsubscribe myself. But not in a nasty way, but it's just like, some things people just have a little taste and just have a little nose and people are free to do that so there you go everybody I'll do another update as I say a bit later on I'm going to progress to the last over there which is going to come out and uh, if you've got any suggestions that you think you'd like to see on the channel uh, please do let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll see what I can sort out for you and uh, thank you guys for watching and thank you for your support of Malvern Junction. See you guys soon and uh, take care for now and have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now guys.